Hi guys, how are you? So today I just wanted to show you how to fill in your brows. This is one of the requested tutorials I got from somebody. Uh, sorry it took me a while to get to it, but I'm going to do it today for you. So I did my, I did all of my makeup minus my brows, so I can show you guys how to do it. So keep watching. Okay, so you want to start off with grabbing like a mascara wand or a spoolie. And what you want to do is you want to comb your hair in the direction that your hair is going. So if you can see this front section of my brows, my hair is going up. So I want to comb that hair up and then the rest of it is going back. So I just want to comb back. What this does is it kind of puts all your hair in the position that it's supposed to be. So do that on both sides. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, I like to use an angle brush. And this is from Modern Basics, and it's called Deluxe Angle 823. And this also is from Modern Basics. This is their brow palette. And you don't, you don't need to get a brow palette because all I'm using, this is just eyeshadow. So if you have a matte eyeshadow, you can use that too. So what I like to do is, because I like dark brows, but I don't want them to look super dark. So I like to do it, I like to dip into the dark brown and the, and the black. And then what I want to do is, what you want to do is you want to start off I like to start off in the middle just in case you got too much color. So I go in the middle and what you want to do is light feather strokes according to your hair. And when you go to the end you want to kind of feather it out because you don't want a straight line, right? So do that and then when you get to the top where these hairs are you want to flick it up. So you want to go in the same direction your hair is going. Now, if you have your eyes, uh, your eyebrows threaded, then you should have a proper shape and you don't have to do any corrections. And I'll show you how you're supposed to figure out where your brows are supposed to be, like the shape they're supposed to be. So you can probably already see the difference. I like to go a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go ahead and put another coat, probably a little bit more black. I've done this, like, I do this every day, so I'm really used to what I have to fill in and stuff. And that's it. So you can see how defined and dark this brow is compared to this brow. So now I'm going to show you how to do the second brow, but this way, uh, now I'm going to show you how you're supposed to um, determine your brow shape according to your face. So the first thing you want to know is where to start, where the head of the eyebrow is supposed to be. So if you just take your pencil or your brush and outside your nose, you go straight up, that's where your brow is supposed to start. Now mine is a little bit, um, a little bit coming out, it's okay, I can deal with that, that's mine. That's fine because my eyebrow is just a little bit closer. But you can see that's where your brows are supposed to start. And where your arch, the highest point of your eyebrow is supposed to be when you look straight, Right outside your eye, so right outside your eye, this point right here is supposed to be your highest point of your eyebrow, which is mine. <laughs> and then the last part is the outside of your eye, the corner of your eye, and the corner of your nose, that's where your brow is supposed to end. So mine's just a little bit shortfall, just a little bit, but not that much. My brows are very tame. None of the hairs actually stick up, which is good. But if your brows do stick up, you can get a gel. Uh, Prestige has a clear gel. And what you do is you, and it comes with a little mascara wand, so all you do is you stick it in there and you br you just brush the gel through your brows. And what it'll do, it's actually like gel. And all you want to do is just kind of press it down so your brow hairs are not sticking up, okay? Another thing you can do is you can use a brow wax. And I think Benefit has one, but I know Ingwalt has one for sure. And what the brow wax just, it does, it same thing. It just holds your brows down and it just um, sets your, sets your, the powder you've used. But I've been using powder for so long and my brows have stayed on. Like, the brows are like the last thing to go for me. So, because, I don't know, you don't sweat in your brow area. I don't know, but... They stay on and I love using powder because I feel like um, you can adjust it and if you feel that it's too dark just take your uh, spoolie again and just run through it just to lighten it. So I'll just show you, I'll just kind of lighten my front and you can see the difference already how lighter this looks. So you can adjust if you feel like oh my god it's too dark and I'm not used to it. Just go through with your spoolie and just run through your brows again and you can see the difference already how much of the color I've already taken away. And usually, um, if you want to have something more natural looking brows, you want to create a 3D effect. So the front of our brows are always lighter, so you don't want to create just one flat plane. You want to create some type of a thing that looks 3D for your brows. 
which makes it look natural because usually the front of our brows don't have as much hair and the tail of our tail of our brow doesn't have that much hair. It's the middle part right here that has most of the hair. So if you want to look really, really natural, I would suggest just feeling, making this part darker, keeping this area light and, um, you know, even just trying to fade this out too. But I like my brows to be really dark and defined and I like to have them on a flat plane. It's just the way I like my brows. And you know, that's a personal preference, how you want your brows to be. But this is the way, um, I would suggest for you to try. So first time you're, if you're ever going to do your brows, find a color that matches your brows. Then I would suggest to keep this area lighter and keep this area lighter. Try to just define this and then, you know, next time experiment going a little bit darker here, or going a little bit darker here, just to see what you like and what suits your face the most. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this brow tutorial and I hope this helps you a lot. Take care. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.